What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nuggles YouTube channel. Uh, for today on Tuesday, we are going to try out a new kind of section or a new little segment like I did yesterday. It's going to be kind of like Rogue Tuesday. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what to call it. I was thinking about Tacky Tuesday, but this sounds kind of weird. So right now we're just called Rogue Tuesday. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Rogue deck. That's, you know, basically Rogue is like, it hasn't done, like, the deck hasn't done that good, but it has, like, potential. And so today I'm going to do Night March, and I'm going to focus on Jose Moreros Night March deck. Uh, he wrote an article on 60 cards. I think that was the website. Just like yesterday, I'll leave the, uh, Link to the article down below. It has a deck list. It has an overview of the deck, so you can learn more about it. Uh, Jose has top date with his deck, so it's you know, it's not just some random deck that he just threw together. It's actually showing some work. So we'll take a, uh, I guess we'll play around with the deck and see what it's like. So I'm fairly new to the deck. I'm still trying to, I'm still learning stuff about it to see what it's like. All right. So hopefully, oh my opponent has the advantage. Very nice. Hopefully, we're playing against a real deck, not knows some kind of scoop up. Uh, lose kind of thing. So here we go for the coin uh, heads. I go first. All right, so we start with Joltek. That's not good. Now for those who know, Joltek has 30 HP, and the th main focus around this deck is Night March, which this deck does 20 damage times the number of Night March Pokemon in the discard pile. So that is the focus of the deck. Let's see what my opponent starts with. Oh, my computer's kind of being slow right now. It still has the thing around me. Am I being dis Okay, so here we go. Oh, a Seismitoid X. This will be interesting. Alright, so here we're going to Ultra... Seismitoid makes it kind of interesting because you can't play some trainer cards. So here we're going to discard a Juniper and a DCE. I know the DCE seems really bad to discard, but we're going to get a turn one Leafeon, which would be pretty nice. Uh, which kind of counters the whole Seismitoid kind of thing. For those who know, Eevee has an ability, which if you attach a grass, or attach any kind of color energy to it, you can search for that kind of Pokemon. So I search for this Leafeon. Here, I'll pull the Eevee real quick while I can. Energy Evolution. To attach a basic energy from your hand to this Pokemon, you may search for a card that evolves from this Pokemon that has the same type as that energy card attached and put on this Pokemon. So basically, we attach a Fire, look for uh, Flareon, Lightning, Jolteon, and so forth. Ooh, this is a very bad hand once again. But uh, we're just going to Verse Seeker, and we're going to grab probably an in, just trying to save uh, save stuff. So here we're just going to pass to my opponent, and I do this deck does play a two-two Leafy online. So oh great! So the whole time I thought we we're playing against a real deck, and it turns out we're really not playing against a real deck. <laughs> oh my, I'm sorry, guys. Kind of just got. I just got punked, kind of, like an Ashton Kutcher kind of show. Oh, we did get a present, though. I wonder what we got. And... Only time will tell in an XY pack. Alright, so let's do round two. Hopefully, we'll play against a real, real deck this time, not just kind of scoop up, ha ha ha, kind of gimmick kind of thing. It's getting kind of annoying, people like that. I don't, I don't understand the point of it, really. You're wasting your minutes to get tokens. So we see a water dark. Hopefully it's an even tall real deck. Maybe my last opponent really didn't have or really did like that was his only option was the Cassius. And he was like, I don't wanna play this game anymore. Alright. <clears throat> so we see another Joltic start. But we do see Battle Compressor, and for those who don't know Battle Compressor, you search your deck for three cards and discard them. So if my opponent does play Evil Tall. Oh my goodness, another size of toad. Please let this be real. Please do not let it be fake. Okay, so it seems. Okay, so it seems like it's going to be real. Alright, imagine this is an Evil Tall. So let's see here. An Evil Tall. Laser. Oh my goodness. If he has a Vermink, Joltik is knocked out. This is one of. The, okay. Whew, Joltik lives. Alright, guys, I was a little scared there. Alright, so we're going to uh, Battle Compressor. Like I said earlier, Battle Compressor, search your deck for three cards and discard them. And basically, we're going to want to discard the Chandelures. They're kind of the most useless in the deck. Because you can't really attack with them. Or, uh, what is Chandelure? Oh, Lampets, sorry, not Chandelure. Chandelure is the one after the Lampets. Oh, do I prize two Lampets? This is going to kind of stink. 
There's the Okaboo Battle Compressor. Another Okaboo. Oh goodness. Alright, I guess they're gonna I guess I kinda wanna keep the uh Joltix in here just cause that's what Evitol's weak to. Here is the silver ring going to the Joltic. We'll see a DC going there. Now I'm going to play this Dimension Valley just so I have a better chance of drawing it to another Pokemon. Please give me another Pokemon. All right, so I get another Pokemon, so that's good. All right, and we'll see here. We're just going to Night March, and I think it's going to do 80, 100, or 90. Sorry, did math wrong. There's three in the discard, plus Silver Ring with 90, so we're doing 90 to the uh, Toad right now. The next turn, I'm going to have to get another uh, Night March in play. Currently, I do not have one. Sorry, I was taking a drink of water. I hope that's okay with everybody. Uh, for those who know, Mew EX, ability versatile. Basically, you pick opponents. A, uh, one of the Pokemon to play and use his attack, but he had to have the energy requirement. So I can copy any of my Pokemon or any of their Pokemon if they have the correct energies attached. Dimension Valley makes it where I have to uh, psychic Pokemon have to pay one less colors in one less colors to attack. Here we see a Darkrai. Uh, for those who know, Darkrai has an ability. Uh, it's hard to see, but it get, basically, if a Pokemon has a Dark Energy attached to it on their side of the field, it gets a free retreat. So the Dark Energy gets the uh, side of the field retreat. Here we see a Muscle Band going to the Darkrai, and here we can see a Believing Wing. Believing Wing does 30 damage. You attach a Dark from the discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Imagine a Michael and says Darkrai. Yeah. This matchup is kind of bad for me. As you can imagine, or uh, if you can tell. Here we can see an Ultra Ball. Opponent has three. Let's get They didn't play a supporter last turn. I don't think they played a supporter. Let me check. Uh, maybe they did. Yeah, they might have played Juniper. No, they didn't play Juniper. Maybe. I don't know. Sorry, I can't remember right now. Uh, either way, I think I'm going to probably just want to end up Juniper in this turn. So here we see Ultra Ball. We're going to discard these two. The end and Jirachi. Need another attacker. Or another a Pokemon to use Night March with. So here we get Pumpkaboo. Attach Silver Mangle to this Pumpkaboo. Battle Compressor. Discard three more Night Marchers. Right now there's four in the discard. So we're doing 80. There's 100. 120. And we'll keep the other pumpkin boo. Just so that way later on Darkrai, for those who don't know, does 90 and 30 to a bench Pokemon. And here we do with the uh, the DC to actually even attack this turn. So that's not good. Oh, but hold on. I might be able to energy crush. Okay. So since Dimension Valley is a play, I can actually copy Leafeon's attack and use it to uh, energy crush. For 40 which is not the best. But I mean, it's attack for 80. Holy cow. Let's see, 20. 20 times the amount of energy cards attached to your, all your, oh, all your Pokemon, okay. So yeah, 20, 40, 60. The Leafeon, or the Muscle Man, 80. Sorry, I thought I didn't lose to active. So energy cards just 20 times the amount of energies and play on your opponents out of the field. So there's six, and then plus the Muscle Man does 80. Sorry about that, like I said, it's my kind of my first time playing this deck, I'm not really sure how everything works. So we see the Blue Moon's going to do 50, and then Plus Poison is going to bring him to 60. <clears throat> now, I'm probably just going to retreat this Mew to save it from getting knocked out. That seems like the best play. Maybe we'll set up Leafeon. Yeah, I think that's what we're running. Do wait, so he does. So I'm trying to debate my options. Okay, I'm not a verse seeker here for an end. That's 100% sure. Question is okay, so I'm gonna attach this grass here just so I can retreat. Oh, now I'm gonna escape rope. Oh man, decisions, decisions. Alright, so I'm going to retreat into this Mew. I know I'm going to get free two prizes, but I want to keep this Leafeon to kill the size until later. So 
So here's the versatile energy crush for 100. Still very, very nice. Oh, sorry, I thought it took two. I was getting excited there. <coughs> Alright, so Darkrai is resistant to psychic, which is the bad problem here. Okay, if my opponent has a laser, we'll be in trouble here because he'll knock out this Mew. But if he doesn't, ooh, let's see here. Imagine he gets a Juniper with this first Seeker. Yeah, so there goes a Juniper. He is digging for a laser because right now he's only do. Oh, my opponent said a nice spear and doesn't knock it out. Oh, I'm bad at math. Sorry, guys. And a Shadow Circle and a Crush Hammer. Holy cow, he is running quick, he's running wild. So imagine 30 damage going here. I'm trying to see why that didn't knock me out. Oh, my bad at math. Night Spear does 90. Plus 9. 10, 11. Oh, okay, so I live by 10 HP. Holy cow, that's amazing. Sorry, guys. Once again, I'm bad at math. <laughs> okay, I thought he had 110 HP, but he has 120. Like I said, first time playing this deck. Alright, let's see here. Is there any way I can knock out this Dark Eye this turn? Is a question. I don't think so, but here, we're going to see this. We're going to use Escape Rope. I'm going to force my opponent to send a Pokemon, and whoever he sends up, I'll send up a, uh, a way to basically kind of beat it. So here we see Evil Tall. Okay. You can send him Joltik, because no matter what, he's going to snipe this Joltik. Which has a DC here. Sorry, I'm trying to debate all my options. I'm trying to figure out how I can win in two turns, because if he has a life center, he can take a double knockout. <coughs> Alright. So we're going to battle Compressor. Just try to thin out Pokemon. I don't think I have any more. Do I want to keep the Eevee? Okay, I don't want to keep Mew in my deck. I'm not going to keep Pumpkaboo. I'm going to keep the Leaf on in there. Yeah, we're going to keep the Leaf on there. Just in case I draw into the, uh... If I draw into the Eevee, I can do it that way. Sorry, I'm debating everything. They were to discard the Ultra Ball. Lysander. Lysander. Oh no, we're gonna discard a Lysander. And that way I can verse I can verse seeker for a next turn if I need to. Here we're just gonna see a night march for 320. Okay. So for those who know Shadow Circle, it has a dark energy attached to it, it has no weakness. Which is gonna be kinda ugly. Okay, so here we see the bring up the Mew. He's gonna take a double knockout. Ooh, he's gonna take a he's gonna kick knock out that guy. Okay. That makes things interesting. Nobody has free retreat, so I really need to think about who I want to set up this turn. Let's see, how many night marches do we have? We have one, two, three, four, okay, hold on, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, okay. With this, I'll have 10 in the discard. So with this Mew, I need a computer search for a DCE. Unless I did the math wrong, I'm just going to like, lose real bad. And then off of this, I need to hit a Dimension Valley. Let's see what happens. Sweet. I got it. Okay. So here we see a Battle Compressor. I'm going to, once again, just thin my deck out more. Discard this one, this one. Keep the DC, keep the Verse Seeker. Keep the Lysander. I think that's all we want to discard. We're just going to discard those two. Everything else is kind of good in the deck to keep right now. And here we're going to see we have Versatile. Oh my goodness, I don't think I can. Oh yeah, I can. No, I can't. Oh. Huh. Okay. 
Well, I... Uh, oh, my game's kind of froze. Either way. Uh, either way, I can't attack because it's head ringer. I just realized that. So I'm going to lose either way this turn. Alright, so that's misplay my part. Uh, if I had Joltik, which I don't have any more left because I've discarded, I could be able to attack, but Headringer makes it where I have one less colors energy attack. So that's kind of misplay my part. I'm going to try one more game to see what happens. I know, like I said, it's kind of new to this deck, just trying to figure out what everything do. Uh, him sitting with the Dark Rider powered up was very smart of him. So I knew he, he knew exactly what he needed to do. I didn't know what I needed to do. So here we're going to try one more time. As you see, the deck is fun though. Uh, you can get things rolling. And you can do a lot of damage really quick. So let's see here. Hopefully we get a good game in. The game was kind of good. Uh, I just The Headringer kind of messed me up. I, I always forget about Headringer. So we're going to see a Psychic, Metal, and Fire. I imagine my opponent wants to go first. Hopefully play it against a real deck. Alright, this hand is not very good. Let's see here, what does he have? A Trubbish, okay. Kind of interesting, and a Jirachi. So a Jirachi for Ant, so his hand must not be very good. So my hand got a whole lot better real quick. Alright, sorry for my fingers popping. I right, didn't, didn't mean to do it all that. Alright, so here I can computer search these two away. And he's weak to psychic. Oh, that's very nice. Alright, so we're going to go gamble here. I can computer search these two away, get to Dimension Valley, play the Dimension Valley, attach this. Oh, oh, don't attack yet. When you play in, we need to draw another Pokemon though. Alright, sweet. That's good. That's really good. Alright, so we're going to Ultra Ball these two away. And we are going to get a Eevee. So that way, if he sends it the size of Toad, I can Eevee next turn. Here we're going to Battle Compressor. Discard. Three Lampants, if I can. One. Two. Come on. Third Lampant, please be in here. Or did I already discard two? Oh, I'm not even sure what I discarded earlier. Alright. Kind of not looking at what I discard. We're just going to YOLO. We're going to... What do I want to discard? Oh, oh yeah, Joltix. Yeah, we're just... Ah. No, no, no. I learned from last game. We need to keep Joltix. <laughs> I don't think he's playing uh, Dark Eye. Oh, there's four Olympics down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're already swinging 140. Turn one. Goodness. Alright. That was a pretty good turn one, if I say so myself. Once again, like I said, if Night March gets rolling, uh, that's kind of a bad thing for my opponent. Oh, another flare tool. Burbank. Computer search. Imagine he gets a Juniper. Or a Sycamore, sorry. Crushing Hammer. Let's see. Oh, heads. Alright, goodbye. Quick and punch. Ooh, so I top deck the end. But the only bad thing with Quick Punch is I cannot play Trainers. Now I'm deciding if I want to attach this DC or not. Ah, why not? Let's go for it. Let's hope we draw Dimension Valley, and we don't. Maybe we can evolve the Leafeon. And we'll just... Can I even do anything? Nope. Just double making sure. Oh, just double making sure. So, Energy Crush is going to do 20, 40, 60 right now. 120. So, if we attach this 20, 40, 60, to another DC somewhere, I can just Energy Crush from Mac out. Let's see here. What does my opponent do? He can quick and punch again. Knock me out. Yeah, so quick punch will knock me out. Sorry. I had to do meth. Squeaky, not so good at meth. You guys saw my friends. Here we're seeing N. Alright, so we get another EV. What is this card? A Reshiram. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. And like I said, now all I need is attaching energy to this Leafy on. I can actually knock out this seismic Please give me energy. Ooh, I didn't get energy though. Well, that's not good. Alright, we're just going to end my turn. Uh, kind of whip on the energy there. Now, there's no way my opponent can knock me out with a size toad this turn. But he can't put me to sleep. Oh, and he does. Kind of hurts me. There's no way I can uh, wake up. Here you see a switch. Cold Oh, man. 30, 40, 50. Holy cow. Hold on. 
Oh goodness. Bye bye, leave you. Oh no, no. Okay, sorry. We gotta stay awake. Or I stay asleep, but now I can play uh, Switch and stuff. Alright. Hmm. Does my phone have Garbo Door in play? It doesn't. Okay, so we're going to get this escape rope. Oh, that's not escape. We can't do that. We are using Battle Compressor. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I had a computer server for a second. That's my bad. Alright, so we're going to Battle Compressor, discard a compressor. We don't really need that. Let's see. We have one Joltik. Oh, man. So, yeah, we got to get this Joltik in here. That's my one more Night March attacker. Alright, I guess we'll discard another Battle Compressor. And probably an Ultra Ball. Tammy, I know. Or Cammy. I know, Cammy. Come on, now. Work with me, girl. So, we're going to Ultra Ball. Alright, compressor those three away. Let's see, Bike. We'll attach a Silver Mangle. They're going Eevee. Bike for two more. Evolve. We need a way to switch Yellow Juniper. Oh my goodness, we didn't get it. Huh. Now the problem is here, this Leafeon is going to die from poison. We're just going to accept its fate. We're going to haunt this Silver Wrangle, and we're just going to end my turn. It does die. Sadly, Leafeon did not wake up. We're going to send this Joltic just kind of a uh, sacrificial kind of prize, and it's going to die. But we get to save the uh, Leafeon. And next time we can last up a toad and knock one out. And knock a toad out. So that's what we're going to do. I think that's a good play. Might not be. Last center up a toad. Energy crush for 300. Now I think with a Garbodor play, it's a. Uh, there's no way I can like Jirachi next turn. Kind of stinks. And there's no way I can even use Versatile. So I don't even know how I'm gonna attack anymore. Garbodor kind of hurts me a lot. <laughs> oh man, crushing ever too. Calm down. No, I don't even know how much damage. 20, 40, 80. Oh, Leafeon's dead. Oh, we might lose another game, guys. I'm sorry. What do I do here? All right, hold on a sec. Both my leaf units are gonna live. Okay. Uh sorry. We're gonna discard these two. Oops, four points left. Alright. Do some wrapping. Let's see how many Joltings are gone? One two. How many DCs are gone? One, two. Alright, so we st still have a we actually have a chance. Uh Okay, so we get the escape rope. It's nice. Now, see, my opponent is a Garbodor. I can use Mew next turn to attack. So he sends a Jirachi. Nice. Alright. So we need to bust this guy. Bump the Dimension Valley and hope off this prize we get another Joltik. If there's one left, I there's not a Joltik. Okay, there is a Joltik. Holy cow! All right, so next turn, if I can. Oh, oh now nah, there's no way I can trade anymore. Oh, this is a uh, pretty bad now. Oh, what? Oh man, I got into one. That's not good at all. Okay, well, let's go, go, Mew. Lysander. The Lysander's not going to do anything. I literally don't want to bring up any of these cards because Mew, Mew 2 can then just come up and smack me for an X-Ball for a knockout. Can't even use your place. <laughs> well, this is not a good game again, guys. I'm sorry. Toad, Garbodor's Garbodor. Alright, all he needs is a switch. Did he get a switch? Or Grenade Hammer. Oh, no. Grenade Hammer 150. No, don't do it. No, please stop. Ah, okay. <laughs> so right now we're 0-2. I'm going to play until I win this, guys. We are going to win a game. I promise we're going to win a game. Even though technically we already won a game because my opponent scooped. Then I turn one. Very first guy scooped. But we will continue until I win a game. Oh, cool. I got a mystery box bonus. An X and Y pack. Thanks. Zach. 
Look at Zach. He's always looking at me very casual, like, what's up, man? This is going to be a longer video. Alright, sorry, somebody Snapchat me. I was looking at my Snapchat. Alright, hopefully we get a better, better game this time. Come on. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. I think it's one of those scoop up things. Alright, I'm going first, though. Let's see how many cards I can get into this card for you. He scoops. I feel like that's what I'm playing against. I could be wrong, though. Prove me wrong, Parky Ball. Kind of like Pokeball, but it's Parky Ball. We're going to start both these cards. I don't see why not. What is this card? Show me Feebas. Seismitoad. Oh no. Another Seismitoad deck. That can't be good. Okay, hold on. Alright, so we're going to attach a Grass Energy turn one. Evolving to good old Leafeon. Then we'll just play in. Come on, in. There we go. Attach the Silver Ringle here. We're going to play the Compressor. We're going to discard three from Lampants. I know there's at least two in there. So, this is a way better turn one than last time. Alright, sweet. That's a pretty good start. Yeah, here we just see a. Ooh. We'll see a pass. Time to find out if opponent's playing serious or not. So, CK. Two sides to it. So, it looks like it's going to be a serious deck. But, uh. Let's see here. 20. 27. Okay, so we attach the DCE, 2040, 67. So if I attach the DCE, it's only going to do 140, which is not a knockout. So my opponent's going to play an old squad discarding a water random receiver, get a Chubbish, very nice. As we saw last game, the Garbodor, Garbodor, hurt me a lot. Alright, Flowstone going to Garbodor, there's a Burbank, Crushing Hammer. Goodness, oh my goodness. Is this thing from last time? Might be. Who knows? Alright. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Let's see. Oh, what can I do that anyway? Sorry, I was trying to think if I can, yeah. Uh, there was a way I can Lysander and break him up. But I don't think there is a way I can do that right now. Let's see here. Wait, there is a way I can do this. Okay, hold on. S Squeaky has an idea. Okay, so we're gonna. Ultra Ball, Silver Wrangle. Okay, I don't see how many Pokemon to discard file first. Wait, <laughs> he's weak to Psychic. What am I thinking about? Okay. <laughs> We're going to discard the uh, Silver Wrangle and Battle Compressor. Getting a Joltik. Sorry, like I said, it's, I'm fairly new at this deck, so I'm learning how to play it every game. We're going to lie center with this Trubbish. Attach a Grass here. Uh, ooh, drop down the Mew. And we'll do Versatile Copying Night March. And knock it out. Alright, so Squeaky makes a good move right there. Learn how to play this deck every turn, every game. Oh no, another Crush Neighbor. Alright, so one for one right or one for two. <laughs> Here we see a Juniper. Well, opponent doesn't know I have another Lysander, so if he drops another Trubbish, it's going, it's going bye bye. Doesn't seem like it might, it's going to happen though. Oh baby, oh baby, drop another Trubbish, come on now, do it for me. I think that's what we're gonna see. That's quick punch is gonna do 50, but who cares? Or drop a Mewtwo, that'd be even better. We have three Lampets right now, so... Oh, what card is this? It's not showing up for some reason. Greninja EX, holy cow. What is this? What? Hold on a second. Alright, read something here real quick. Greninja EX. Okay. So we're just going to Juniper here. Um, <coughs> where did that actually... Uh, let's see here. I can... I can quick a punch him if I want to. But do I want to quake a punch is the question. I don't think so. We're going to attach a grass to this Leafeon. So I can energy crush next turn. And we're just going to versatile. And do uh, a night march. For 60. 
<coughs> Next turn, I can energy crush for knockout if he leaves his active. With the bench leafy on, of course, not with the Mew. So let's see what my opponent does. Ooh, this, he's powering up this little guy here. Mm. 30 damage to one of my Pokemon. So he will knock out this Mew when he snipes it. Interesting. Alright, well, we're going to treat either way. Sit on this Leafy on. We're going to attach a DC to this Mew. Since he wants to, he could snipe this Mew with the Greninja. Is this, can he use second attack? No, he can't. So here we're going to see an Energy Crush. 280. Knock out the Seismic Toad. Alright, so we're having, we're, having a good, we're having a good game so far, guys. We might be, it looks like we might win this one. Maybe. Fingers crossed. And next turn, I can use Battle Press and discard some Pokemans. Like, imagine he might snipe the mule on the bench. Let's find out. He's taking the loss. Maybe he's trying to decide what he wants to do. Does he want to knock on the Joltik? Does he want to knock on the Mew? Does he have a supporter? Oh, so he goes for the Joltik. Very interesting, mister. How many do we have in here? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I guess we're battle compressor and sleeping enough to uh, discard, kill this Greninja. Discard that third limpet, the fourth limpet for sure. Alright. We'll attach this DC to Mew. I think I'm just going to Juniper my hand away. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to Juniper my hand away. Oh, holy cow. Alright, oh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I needed the muscle pan or something. Oh, goodness. That's not what I wanted. So, I think I'm going to energy crush. Uh, now I can use Mew Attack to knock out the Greninja next turn. Kind of weird. Oh, no, I can't because I need to fight energy. I'm silly. Alright, so here we see a Tails and the laser. This grenade just putting them work, guys. And he's probably gonna use grenade just first attack to knock out this Mew. I would imagine so. <coughs> but then what after what will he do after that? Alright, so I guess he's gonna knock out that. Leave you on takes ten damage. My hand is kind of bad. This will just end. It is both the three. Sure, why not? Alright. Trying to bait, but I want to attach this. What did the second time do? Six, why not? We'll touch a grass here. Maybe next time we need Leaf Blade. Alright. So, Battle Compressor. Let's discard the last of the guys. One, two. Maybe I'll keep a Joltik. Cause I only need to discard one. So let's discard cards that want to help me when I get quick and punched. How about that? Which is not much. <laughs> okay, so I have a bunch of supporters here, so that's very good. Uh, I guess we'll discard the Muscle Band. Or the Escape Rope. Muscle man or skate? We'll discard the muscle man. Just in case if he whiffs a quick a punch, I can use muscle uh, skate rope later. Alright. So, bench the EV and we'll energy crush for 140 print knockout. Alright. Take two prizes. Well, it's my opponent's turn. I think there's enough Pokemon in this card to knock out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So right now we do 180. Oh my goodness, an enhanced hammer. But a juniper very Okay, so that's good for me. Let's see. How many DCs are in my deck? There's only two at play. So there's one left in the deck. I already discarded Jirachi though. Who? It's gonna be a close one, guys. 
Oh, never mind. He can't even uh, knock me on this turn. I'm silly. All right, we're just going to Juniper. There's the DC. Retreat to Mew, and we will use Night March for knockout. All right, guys, 200. Finally, Night March takes the victory. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know I had a shaky two other games. Not really sure how to play this deck yet, like I said. But I'm learning how to play it. And I see it's kind of fun. Just trying to night march people to death. And I see that Leafeon did come in clutch that game, killing Seismitoads. So shout out for Jose for his deck list. Uh, if, you like the, if you like the videos, please go read his article. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like the videos. I'll try to post more. Well, I'm going to post more. I'm not going to try. I am going to post more. What am I talking about? Uh, thanks for all your support. And uh, have a great day. Thanks